What's up everyone and welcome to my video. Do you remember my Marshall cabinet with Eminence Legend speakers? This is an Eminence Legend speaker right here. It's an Onyco speaker, pretty lightweight, I must say. But in the cabinet, it sounded weird. Let's just say that. So I recently switched out the speakers in this cabinet. It's a Marshall old cabinet. And I switched out the speakers to Celestian Greenbacks instead. 25 watts so and 8 ohms, so you have a 100 watt cabinet now, basically. And in today's video, I'm going to compare this uh, new sounding cabinet to my Mesa Oversize with V30s right there. I have an Austrian Audio OC18 on both, straight in to the speaker, so you can make your own comparisons. Obviously, the cabinet enclosure will differ a lot. So you can't really just compare them head to head like this. The cabinet enclosure is definitely providing some of the tone. But I thought it would be interesting to see what this cabinet sounds like right now because before it was sounding weird as hell. Let's just say that. For this demo, I'm using my Solar. This is a fan fret Solar right there. Uh, that goes straight into my EVH amplifier and that goes into both cabinets. And uh, I'm gonna switch back and forth between them. But let's start with the Marshall cabinet right here, okay? <laughs> I also have a Neumann TLM 102 right there aimed at the cabinet. So when I'm demoing the cabinet as it is right now, I'm going to use that one and the stereo microphone. But then for the comparison, I'm going to use the Austrian audio microphone, okay? I mean, it sounds a lot better than it did before, that's for sure. Sounds great. Okay, I'm gonna switch back and forth between the two cabinets now. Check this out. Starting with the Marshall cabinet and then I switch over to the Mesa. There's an incredible difference between these. The V30s definitely sound more harsh and a little bit more... It has a lot of more high-end. And the greenbacks are definitely more mid-focused. But the greenbacks has this almost low-pass filter to its tone, where it doesn't have that harshness of the V30s. <laughs> You know, most of the times you would probably remove some of that high end that's in the V30s. Listen to this. Now we're talking to V30s. So, in here, you have a lot more mids, a lot less highs. I mean, they definitely have a completely different tone to them. And uh, I would probably... Can I... Can I run two at the same time? Hello? Hang on. Give me a second. I want to run them at the same time. 
All right, I managed to figure it out. I checked out the manual for my amp switcher and figured out how to do dual cab at the same time. What I was meant to say was that these two are probably gonna sound pretty good matched up together, you know? So right now, both cabinets are active. Ooh, it sounds really good, man. So together, in the room, it sounds really good. It's gonna be really interesting hearing how it sounds afterwards, but uh, I'm gonna switch it up a little. Maybe you can check it out. An idea that you would have if you want to have... Uh, 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 sorry, uh, if you only have one cabinet, for instance, you can put both in an X pattern and you have best of both worlds, basically. But yeah, there you go. That's the uh, greenbacks in my Marshall cabinet right there. Uh, they're definitely a little bit mid-heavy and uh, the vintage 30s, as always, I, I favor them because I think they sound absolutely awesome. But uh, it's definitely good to have something different for uh, when I'm doing my demos and whatnot. There you go. Hope you liked my video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.